One of the most important things is finding a reason to do what you're doing. And even though at the surface level you think it's because you're going to be rich, you're going to have this hugely successful company, you know, retire young, but that, that's not enough, I, I don't think, to carry somebody through the entrepreneurial journey. I think you really need to believe in what the company is doing. I'm Carolyn Hicks. I'm from Brill Power. I'm the head of finance and operations and one of the co-founders of the company. My name is Damien Frost and I am the CTO and co-founder of Brill Power. At Brill Power we're developing technology that I developed in my PhD research at the University of Oxford. We're very lucky that we were friends before we started the company and so that trust already existed. But we really didn't get started as Bro Power full time um, until uh, after the winning the New Energy Challenge. Shortly after that, we all finished our PhDs and really kicked it off then. So, in one sentence, Bro Power integrates power electronics into battery packs to make them last longer. As batteries degrade, not only do you lose the energy storage capabilities of some cells, but in large packs, you lose the energy storage capability of all the cells connected in the series string. So what we're looking to do is add a little bit of power electronics so that as soon as one series connection becomes a bit weak, we can put less current through it, which will degrade it more slowly. So we're not targeting laptops um, or camcorders that have a few cells in series. We're targeting battery packs that have 50, hundreds of cells in series. That's where our technology is really going to shine. The electric vehicle market we see as the biggest potential, but it is also the hardest to get into right now. Applying to co competitions like the Shell New Energy Challenge and getting endorsed by a company like Shell has, has huge value to us in the early stages. The application process wasn't very arduous, so why not? Let's, let's go for it. Let's see what, see what can happen. It was 100% worth it every, every single day. As the first and second day unfolded with lots of events, lots of activities, we're like, ah, this is serious, this is getting good. I mean, we had a fabulous time. Uh, it was great to meet all the other companies and really get to know them really well, more than you would in a regular interaction. I mean, just being part of the New Energy Challenge expanded our professional network immediately by 19 other startups. I think overall, the interactions with the other startups was the best part of the Race the Bar Week. Uh, you know, seeing companies that are at the same stage as you, going through similar issues, even asking simple questions like, are you on LinkedIn or do you run a newsletter? It, it was productive beyond just the competition. Our pitch coach at Rockstart, who tore apart our pitch deck and gave us something awesome. And, 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 and it was a different angle than what we were doing. We focused very much on the very tech, tech heavy, being like, this is why batteries suck and this is how we can make them better. And he brought in the angle of, well, if you can make them more environmentally friendly, people will like them more. And adding that into our pitch deck, I think, made a huge difference. The thing I valued the most from the Race the Bar Week was having all the external companies come in and give talks. So they had, they brought in the CEO from TerraCycle. He gave a, a great talk that I really love. I was very surprised that we were in the top three. I mean, there was just all these other amazing companies and uh, they did so well. I just didn't expect that we would get that far. Winning the New Energy Challenge was, I mean, at first a huge thrill and shock. Uh, it meant quite a bit that we could, you know, say we were the winners of the New Energy Challenge and show them the video. It was very exciting. At the time, I didn't know winning the New Energy Challenge would be so beneficial, but now it's, it's been super useful. The money from the New Energy Challenge has really helped us accelerate our development. So we had a chance to buy more equipment, buy more batteries, and um, hire our first employee sooner than later. But there's also the ongoing support from Shell Ventures and the potential to work with them on, on future projects. <laughs>
Since winning and being supported by Shell Ventures, they've put us in touch with the people at Shell who are working in that space. We've learned a lot about what they're doing and we're hoping to con continue a collaboration. I don't want to think about how I acted differently. I want to think about where I tried. And if I tried and failed, who cares? But at least I tried. And tell your story as widely as you can. I and mean, you never know who's listening.